Hello Commanders, and welcome to another day in Star Trek Fleet Command. In today's video, I was able to unlock Riker through the Battle Pass, and so I want to talk about him briefly and show him in a wave defense so you can kind of see how quickly the ship moves or how much of an impact he does make. It'll be interesting because there's also, I believe, favors for impulse speed uh, later levels, so it's kind of interesting to see how this may play out. But here's the let me show you the, the ships that, that I have set up and the crews. And uh, before I jump into that, if you are new to this channel, please, um, it's a huge help to the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, uh, that like button. And if you wanna be kept in the loop of future content, don't be afraid to hit that bell notification icon as well. Okay, so I used, um, my Enterprise A earlier, and it did make it go quicker, but I want to see and show in this video if I put him on an interceptor. So I have him on my pylum right now. And so what I've gone with is rather than synergy, I've gone with, um, and, and I'd love to hear your feedback as well, if this crew is a good crew that you found or if there's other options um, that, that increase it uh, or make it better, that'd be interesting to hear. So I've gone with Riker, Strange New Worlds, Una. So for those who don't know, you can pull up Riker, but his captain's ability increases the base impulse speed by 50%. Strange New Worlds, Una's officer ability increases it by a flat 15. And then every time after you hit a ship, until the next Valerie returning to station, uh, Curon will increase it by 35% for me. It's all based upon his tier. So with the below deck, I've gone with Torres for um, the whole breach and um, Paris for the mitigation. And we've got obviously five, or not, not five, we've got Hugh there below decks for the extra criticals. Um, see, a Borg and I honestly automatically think of five. We've got five on this other ship on my Talios. So I've gone with this crew here with Tal and Giorgio. Um, just as we get to high level hostiles, it will help for my ship to take out bigger targets. And so I've got some below deck officers and then I've got some health officers below deck to help with the mitigation. All right, let's go see if we can find one to join. Get some randoms going here. Well, there's two in there. Let's try this one. Okay, so I'm going to send the Talios down here because that's where the Borg probes will come the first round. Oh, good. We've got... Okay, and so I'm going to take... Put the Battle Bridge in motion. So I'll get rid of some stuff there. We've got 48, 54, 47. Not bad. we got another 50. We could actually do pretty well here. So I'm going to just show you, I wanted to show you how quickly Riker moves. That's the main purpose of this. We can talk about other things as we go. We can get to higher level rounds. Then I'll probably let the, like the probes and other things just go, especially ships, and save my hole by just taking on the FKR, the Federation Klingon Romulan hostiles. So we've got five of us, hopefully... They can start the the wave defense soon. No need to wait around. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is leave those battleships. I'm going to target the board probes first. Okay, and then let's see. Let's see the Riker just fly over there. He moves pretty quick. You can move across the system without losing a whole lot of time fairly quickly. Oh no, people are getting through. It's always tricky. Sometimes it doesn't swap ships very quickly with 
me being on the PC, I've noticed that it doesn't always work the greatest, but I think I'm going to send Riker to those explorers probably next. Okay, come on. Got to grab them while you can. Come on. Why is my ship not targeting? Alrighty. I know probes are going to come down here again. So I'll send down there. This time we'll put Riker close to where he needs to be. So we've got some acting over here. I think those are um, swarm hostels. Okay, so as you can see, Riker moves pretty fast. And he is on an interceptor right now, so that is something to consider. But he's also going to speed up whatever ship you're on. So if you have a battleship, if you have an explorer... Maybe I should have set my... If I can take those out with Riker. I think I can. If not, you're going to have a video of me screwing up big time. All right, come on. Go, let's take him out, guy. Let's do this. All right, let's switch over. And, and now I'll kind of switch, and now that you've seen it, I think that he's a fantastic officer. I can't remember if I said this, but I'd love to hear your feedback, if you have any feedback on crews that you have used, if you have unlocked Riker. Um, or other uses that you may have used him for. It's interesting, um, kind of, uh, I haven't unlocked Deanna Troy yet, but to uh, see how he pairs with hitting hostiles um, with his speed, with the speed aspects, you know, what he brings to the table outside of wave defense. But certainly, he's going to be a great officer for... For wave defense, so there you go. Targeting really sucks. Oh, my ship was farther away than I thought it was. See, we have a big wave here, so I'm trying to take those out. I can't even target that one. Great. Okay. I think I can switch over from, let's see if you can intercept that over there. Tavis can take on those. Riker's fast enough to intercept that from far away.
All right, let's see here. Okay, take out the probes. The rest there is that if they hit higher level targets or bigger groups of targets, then it makes it a little difficult to justify going after just two when there's a whole big fleet you've got to take care of. Okay, we're going to send right over there because there's more hostiles there to worry about. Intercept the big groups. And of course, I selected the wrong ship. So kind of mess, like what ships do you target? And we're down one person. God, we're down to three. Yep, that's how it goes. But there's this big, this big group of battleships. I'm focusing on that because I can hit more quicker. As soon as I can have one ship take on all of them, I will probably send Riker to... Oh. Come on. Let me target them. See, he just goes fast. I never could catch it that quickly without Riker. Uh, we're going to lose. There are just so many. There's too many. Yep. Okay. So that is the end of the wave defense. Uh, I struggled with being on the PC, just couldn't target as fast, and it seems like it really struggled with me switching between ships. Um, that's kind of typical. So, um, do I think Riker's worth getting? Yes, absolutely. I think there's a number of great things of value in the Wave Defense store, which I talked about in another video. But to uh, add value to this video, um, go ahead and watch that. Oh, look, I can claim that. Go ahead and watch that video. Um, but getting Sloan, I think he has a lot of value there. These Dolomite particles have a lot of value. There's some researches that will really significantly help your gameplay. Unless you spend money to buy them already, then that's, that's, that might be a different story. Maybe you won't think that's valuable, but I do. Uh, since I haven't gotten those. Syndicate XP, getting that leveled is always a good thing. While these officers are, you know, they are what they are, um, mostly interested in Carol Freeman here uh, since they've altered the, the meta there. But there will definitely be some stuff here that, that helps you in the wave defense, but those few things up above have a lot of value to me as a player. So it's just keeping up on your, your pulls. So... Um, anyways, that's the video for today. I hope you found it helpful. Hopefully it was interesting to you um, and, and that you'll have good luck in pursuing Riker. Um, should have one more spend event this weekend. But uh, last time I checked the store, which I will not edit this out, um, it just go back, goes back to there's no news. Apparently there's no events going on at all. So anyways, that's complete for you, I guess. But events are going on. Uh, they should have a spend event, material spend event this weekend. So hopefully, if you have an unlocked Riker, you'll be able to grab the last few shards there um, or get closer to unlocking him. 
Anyways, thank you so much and we will see you next time.